Okay, it's connecting this time. Sensor scan to one half parsec. On screen. Weapons are at More like a big ball of wibbly wobbly, tiny whiny stuff. Open a channel. All vipers, break, break, break! Impossible to see the future. This is the emergency holographic doctor speaking. You wish the energy talking. Helmsman laid a new course. Watch how I saw. Now, it's gone completely. Engage. Hello, and welcome to the Save Sci-Fi Podcast. I'm your host, David, and joining me tonight, we have Stuart. Hello. Scarrow. Good evening, good evening, good evening. Ah. Oh. The person whose name I'd forgotten. Introduce yourself. <laughs> Metal Riff, I am back after four weeks or something. <laughs> and Amy, can you. We are getting a bit of feedback in through your channel. Hey! Um, I'm not sure what's causing it, but we are getting some weird feedback through you. How? You're very soft on chat. On it. Uh, Only Metal Rift is loud. Huh. That's really weird. Anyway, tonight on tonight's show, yeah, that's weird. Um, Amy, can you mute your mic for me? Um, yep. Sweet. Sorry, um, I hate to cut Amy out like that. She can jump back in when she needs to. It's just that we're getting a little bit of feedback through her channel for some reason. Um, so, Amy, whenever you want to join back in, just unmute your mic and say what you got to say and then just mute yourself again. I'm sorry that we have to do that, it's just being weird. Anyway, on tonight's show we have Spider-Man has entered Marvel. Finally! So, um, with Spider-Man in Marvel we want to talk about what we think. Uh, he can, what we think he can contribute to the Marvel Universe and how, what directions they should potentially take him. Um, and later on, we have Transformers. What Michael Bay did right, what Michael Bay did wrong, and what we would do to improve it. Does I mean, killing Michael Bay have count? to make a list of this? Oh, man. No. No, no, no I, can, I can say something straight up. Getting rid of Shia LaBeouf is the best move he's made since doing the series. Oh, yes. yes. But first, we are touching on Spider-Man. Like. Yes! Okay. All right. First up, who do we think should play Spider-Man? My first I... one, Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> no. Go away. No. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, well, uh, apparently from um, BuzzFeed it is reporting from unnamed sources that uh, Andrew Garfield will still be Spidey, so... I, that would I, be really good. He could still be, in the, could still be in the mix. Sony said that he isn't... They've talked to him before making the deal. They mm. can't... That's why they've made the stipulation where... Um, they they get to recast, and I've read on several articles um, fantasizing who could play. Apparently, a key one is the lead role from the Maze Runner. Yeah, interesting. Um, just a yeah. random note, Metal Rift. You might want to turn your mic down a little bit. You're clipping quite. Um, try yeah. that. Just just about ten percent. Um, producing as we go, as always. We have ever the professionals. <laughs> yes. So, <laughs> so, failing catastrophically four minutes in guaranteed or your money back what money <laughs> exactly <laughs> you're the ones that gave it to us <laughs> I'm so okay bored. um yeah with the uh, whole maze around casting him and also Logan Lerman are people's ideas but after seeing what Logan Lerman did with Percy Jackson I don't want to see him touching Peter Parker at any time yeah. I, if I'm going to chip in on this this is probably going to get me shot don't worry the only person here, there's only one person here that can be shot and fired and that's Stuart because he's our Stuart the fired guy valid point uh, <laughs> I wouldn't mind seeing the main actor or Eggsy from um, the recent Kingsman movie Oh, I could, I oh could the that. young bloke! Wait, the young bloke. I haven't seen yeah. Kingsman yet. Yeah, but... I could see that. Okay, okay. Well, that's, that's, a, is... that's actually a good cho- choice. That's not too that bad. Happening. That's not too bad. 
How about, um, there's very few sort of young actors that fall into the sort of the category of, um, that could, do, that could do Spidey in the right way. Yeah, they need that, they need that tall, slender figure. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he has got a, he, he's got a very, like, um, specific build to him. Yeah. It's not like Tony Stark or, um, Thor. Yeah. Bulky in that. He's got to be um, tall, thin, very slender. Look relatively yeah. young. And very totally right. um, acrobatic. Yeah. And the, the main reason they've got to be thin is they've got to be able to accentuate that acrobatic-y sort of feel to and them. the suit. Yeah. yeah. Um, if by any chance you're in the chat room and keeping an eye on and listening to us, if you're crazy enough and bored enough to do that, thank you. And if you want to get in on the conversation, feel free to... Um, make a mention in the chat. I'm always keeping an eye on it, and we'll more than happily read it out on the air for you. Mm. So, do you um do you mind if I go into like the technical side of what the deal actually um in in um, yeah. entails? That would have probably been a really good place to start retrospectively. Yeah. Again, so, uh, professionals. <laughs> yes. So what the deal is is that uh, Sony still officially hold the rights to Spidey, but Marvel. Uh, because of their deal with him, will uh, finance the will finance the film. Okay. Basi- basically, Marvel are paying for Sony's movies. It's weird. It's kind of like the opposite of what the Toby was. Uh, Toby Maguire Spider Man was. Yeah. It would be released under a Marvel name, but all royalty, all like all production rights and funding would come from Sony. Yeah. Yeah, it was very different, so... Yeah. It's basically gone full circle. Yes. Yeah. Which is sort of cool. Now, How's that new? Ultimately, the, the, the question boils back to not only what who we want to play Spidey, where do we want him to land? I'm pretty sure we're unanimous with Cap 3. Yes. Cap, it'll, either be, it'll either be... So, it, the way I would like to see it, I would either like him to actually be involved in Cap 3 or a scene at the end of the credits. Yeah. Uh, Wait, they could, if they recast him on her, be a bit too uh, late for yeah. Ultron. Yeah, it's, it's way yeah, too late it's for way Ultron. way too late for Ultron. There's no chance he's going to What be other Ultron. Marvel films are coming out this year? Um, uh, oh, um, Ant-Man. Ant-Man, yeah. Bingo. That, that, Ant- could, that could be hilarious. That could be, he could come into Ant-Man. Yeah, just a small, a, just a small no, cameo. No, no, what would be really good for Ant-Man? Ant-Man is in mini-me form. He falls out of a thing and lands in a spider's web. In the background, you see the spidey suit. That would be cool. Yep. Okay. And that—that's all it is. It's just—it ends that's, right that's, there. That's enough. That's that's enough. That's enough to make the internet go mental. Yeah. <laughs> that's like, brilliant. Or they can do it. Yeah. That. Or, or. Or they can do an agent of shield. Yeah, actually, Fighting Shield. That's yeah. not a bad idea. Depending Just on how they go about it. Give, actually... give a reference that he's come back on the map. Well, not, yeah, not, actually, well, actually... not even that. They could even go to the effort of introducing Spider-Man in Shield. Because mm. well, with, with the Inhumans. Yeah. 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 Do it with the Inhumans. Yeah. Um, Face it, Spidey still in, in in human himself, kind of. Yeah, it's Kevin really Beige, if you're listening, please take our ideas for granted. <laughs> yes, yes, you don't need to mention us. Just do it. Just do it. We don't care about the royalties. Yes, do it. Do it. <laughs> so, um, also, a quick uh, update of when uh, Spidey's movie is going to come out. 2017. 2017, which bumped yeah, back July, all of the back yeah, end of July Phase 3. Tw- yeah, it actually comes out um, for the original date when uh, Thor Ragnarok was going to come out. But Thor oh. Ragnarok has now been bumped to November 3rd, and Black Panther will, will premiere on July 6th, 2018. Oh, no, God, that, oh, now I'm really anxious for Black Panther again. Oh, I was yeah. excited for that announcement. Do you know what? Wait, there's only one problem with the Black Panther thing. They need to do one thing. They need to get the rights to X-Men. Yeah, because any see, comic fishier knows that. See, I've actually got a plan for that, and this is my plan, and it's really, 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 really simple. Watch none of the non-Marvel-made movies. If nobody watches them, they don't make any money. Then they won't get made, and no new ones will be made, and they'll default back to Marvel. Then Marvel go, ooh, now we can make X-Men versus Mar- um, Avengers, 
and all of a sudden, no one in the world has money except Marvel, <laughs> who has but all of it in a scro- I, giant I Scrooge McDuck style tank where they just <laughs> casually swim through it. Yeah, that I sounds can like say this. X Men A vs X is basically the Phoenix Force returns towards the end. I've read the comics. Oh, yeah. yeah, I, I read the comics for it too, and I was like, oh my god, that would be the greatest movie ever. Psy- Cyclops, man, really? Yeah. First anyway. Gene in the movies, then Dakin, and now, sorry, then Legion, and now you. Are you kidding? Okay, so on the note of the standalone Spidey movie, I know that Stuart and Metal both had an idea for who they wanted to be the first bad guy. Since Stuart is all pumped about his, I'm going to leave him till second. I know. So, so <laughs> it's not because I don't like Stuart, but it's more because I want Metal He's to so get He's so damn passionate about it. Yeah, I want to get Metal out of the way and move on to Stuart. That's nice of you. <laughs> that, and it's sometimes a pain in the ass to get Stuart to shut up. Yeah. Well, I, I remember one of the first Spider-Man comics I picked up was an, an old back issue from the 80s, Craven the Hunter, easily the best Spider-Man villain he's ever faced because he was Sabretooth meets Wolverine, plus the fact he was Russian. He was a complete badass. I'd love to see Spidey go toe-to-toe. And it gives a proper tie into the possible idea of a Sinister Six movie. That's actually not a bad idea. That'd what be really a, awesome. Yeah. What, what about let's your think idea? About, like, wait, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Let's think about it. They've, how many people of the Sinister Six have they gone through? Electro? The Goblin? And, yeah, two. And uh, Wait, have they done the Vulture? I can't remember. Not yet. And they need we to did. redo... And they need to redo Doc Ock as well. So that's... Yeah. We did get a look at Rhino at the end of Amazing Spider-Man 2, but we haven't seen a Vulture yet. Yeah, yeah they yeah. need Vulture. They need Vulture and Craven to come in, and then and maybe Mephisto. And then... No, no, Mephisto's the devil. Sorry, Mysterio. And then we can have a six movie, as long as we have a good We're introduction. We're Spider-Man, not Diablo. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but Mephisto is also the Marvel devil. If people yes. know about the whole brand new day storyline, yeah. it makes sense. Yeah. Mephisto can be saved to after Civil War. Yeah. Um, what was... Yeah. Okay, Stuart, what was your sort of idea that you were doing backflips about before we started? Yeah. And I told so you not to tell ha- us till we got on the air. Yeah. So this hasn't been done by either the Tobey Maguire or the uh, um the Amazing Spider-Man series. I want a Carnage. I want yes. a Cletus Cassidy. Yes. 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 I want the Carnage. Carnage is my favorite villain. Yeah. I want a Isn't Carnage. Is Carnage I- effectively Venom but like Psycho? No. No, Carnage no, is no. Venom's Carnage kid. Is ah, that's right. Yeah. Who had Venom. sex uh, Venom? You don't have sex with him to have a kid. He just basically yeah. sp- kind of pops just out another um, symbiote. Yeah he's, a, yeah. yeah, he's like a byproduct of the Venom symbiote. But yes. what I want to see is a Carnage versus anti-Venom symbiote uh, movie. Like, if people read the comics, it's um, um, Eddie Brock is diagnosed with cancer at one point, and so the symbiote saves his life, but it generates... A nega version where he's like a black strip on a white symbiote. He turns into like a uh, kind of a Punisher-esque sort of supervillain. He's actually like he's a vigilante. Huh. Yes, Carnage is a uh, can- Carnage is my favorite villain, and I always loved um, in the cartoon series I watched growing up uh, the relationship Carnage and Venom had because they always were biting each other's head off. <laughs> well, was this the one with the the? Spidey series that everyone makes fun, fun with on the internet. You know, uh, the, yeah, that, that's yeah. the series from the '60s, isn't it? Well, no, yeah, it's no, 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 the animated series from the '80s. That's what I meant. Yeah, the moment no, it's like you're just like you're just randomly swinging through the sky. It's like, bro, what are you swinging on? Seriously, the hell is up there? Nothing. <laughs> you swing off clouds. Absolutely. Okay then. Nothing. Yeah. Actually, on a random note, I would love to see MythBusters take on the Spidey Web. Yes. Oh. I remember watching the superhero one where they did had a look at the um, Adam West grapple hook out of the Batmobile at the right hand turn. Yeah. Hang on, I've thought of something. Oh. Ooh. Um, you hurt? When it only just jumped to <laughs> my head now. When we mentioned when Sp- when we could see Spidey, we completely forgot of one movie. What? Deadpool. Oh. 
Yes. Yeah, yes. Waiting for this Spidey. to come back up. That I is... am looking forward to Deadpool. Yes. Yes. It's the Just... one yeah, of the two superheroes that Ryan Reynolds has played. It's the one he didn't f up. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just face it, Green Lantern was terrible, and if you don't admit that, you're wrong. Oh, for I the love of don't. God, stop bagging on him for Green Lantern. <laughs> he did the character as well as he could, given the script he had to work with. Exactly. <laughs> he Even he, he executed it poorly. No, not really. No, the script Dude, was I've yeah. seen the script he had. He actually did his best to save it. Yeah. yeah. Was it was random. beyond saving, and he still da- gave a damn good showing. Do you want to know the, my favorite part about Green Lantern? It was right at the end where the guy turns the yellow, and it's just like, "Ah, you thought you were getting a sequel? How cute!" Yeah, <laughs> damn it, Sinestro. My favorite bit was the was the credits. Let's just face it. Yeah. But yeah anyway, um, moving away from that and back towards the Marvel Spidey. stuff. I. Yeah. When it comes to Civil War, I would love to play to see him play a more sort of a pivotal role in the story, like he did in the actual comics. Yeah, um, the whole Iron Spider suit will be that. That's why they need him for Civil War because he actually has an essential plot. He actually reintroduces the Punisher into that storyline. Yeah. If yeah, not many people do remember that, but um, Jack O' Lantern and the Goblin. We're chasing him down the New York sewers, and then um, Punisher comes down and just nearly kills them both. <laughs> love Punisher. Why not? I was I, I actually just love, reread. I love um, Punisher for the simple fact he's a hero I can get behind in that he's not afraid to make the hard call. Yeah. Unlike Batman. <laughs> yeah. Well, that, see, that's the big thing between DC and Marvel. In Marvel, they seem to follow the rule of you're a bad guy, you've been a dick, you're dead now. In DC, they're like, you've been a bad guy, we're going to lock you up in prison and hope you don't escape. One week later, eh, eh, Or a day eh. later. Yeah. It's, like, it's, like, it's like, okay, he's in the cell, clang, he's gone. Wait, what? <laughs> but it's Pretty funny. Much. I, I love it how the Gotham, how the city of Gotham are so naive that they think these homicidal maniacs can become good again. <laughs> well, speaking of Gotham, the... Um, the who's, Joker. Who's I know. been keeping up on the TV show? I'm just two I episodes. I'm um, two episodes. Um, well, I've got to watch fourteen and the one that came out, just came out. Yeah. So I, but I know that they're introducing the Joker. Yeah. I'm definitely looking forward to that. I haven't actually seen that episode yet. I think it, I can't remember exactly when it airs. Pretty soon. Um, oh but yeah. Um, sorry. I just hate to interrupt. I've just found some news for anyone who's a fan of. James Bond, Kamal Khan from Octopussies just passed away at 93 years old. Oh, damn. Snap. snap. Wow. He lived a good life. Yeah. Mm. Sure. I'm like poor old Richard Keel. Yeah. Um, speaking of random old people that are probably going to die soon, you <laughs> hear who's going to Supernova? Oi! Be nice to Christopher Lloyd. Christopher Lloyd is awesome. The last I, time I, I was I'm here, jealous. I was... I'm jealous. I don't get to see him because I live in Sydney. God damn it! Your fault. Hey, you get Nathan Fillion. Don't complain. Yes, hey, exactly. You guys get Chekhov, Sulu, and Uhura. As a lawyer, I, know, right? I am fuming. Yeah. Okay. To be perfectly we could blunt, for I would swap you Please. those Please. three Please. for Na- just Nathan. I would swap you, Chekhov, Sulu, and George Takai, who I already listed. I've oh come on, Uhura. Dave, you've had enough three. chances to get Philly in already. Yeah. Wait, what you have? Th- let's not go there. <laughs> oh. Anyway. Um. Oh. Um. We're going way off topic again. It's just a little like bit. Like normal. All right, all right, um, Marvel. Oh, actually, just Marvel. on a really quick note to do with Supernova. Now, I just want to mention this really quickly. Um, those who are going to Sydney Supernova... Um, Ad- as f- I think it's Sydney Supernova. Yes, it's in Sydney. Both. Yeah. Um, Adam Baldwin has been confirmed to still be going, and they won't be talking about any of the politically stuff. Uh, Which is that, good, but yeah. I still know who a few people who are saying that oh, there's going to be a few picketers, and I'm oh, yeah. 
I'm when, it, when, it, when, it, when it, it comes to them, seriously, be respectful to both sides. Okay. I know. I know. Um, that's and what I'm that's, as, of... that, that's as far as we're going with it. Just be respectful to both sides. If you disagree with him in any of the stuff that he said, all I'm going to say is just don't get anything signed by him and enjoy the con. I'm going to that's, that's chime it. it in. I've got a so. few few people who are actually quite disgusted with what he said. Yeah, I'm well, not neutral at the. We're, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, yes. All right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop. Oh, sorry. It's okay. We are not going to be talking about anything he yeah. has or hasn't or might have or might not have said on the podcast. Yeah. All right. Okay? Yeah, sorry. So all I wanted to do was mention that he's, it's as of the, the making of this podcast, he's still going. So anyone who's looking forward to seeing him can still see him at the moment. I wanted to mention that there was potentially going to be a protest, but I don't know who's organizing it. Go to yeah. the comment section of the post that Supernova made on their Facebook wall to find out more details on that. There'll probably be stuff popping up everywhere, but seriously, be respectful to each other. No yelling, no being idiots. Just and let, if you want this, pick this. Who... Live and let live, and that's it. Yeah. So um, we're, and we're better than this shit. Exactly, and we're, we're above it. We're beyond it, and that's all we're saying. So we're moving on to Transformers. <laughs> speaking Which of shit, which one would you like? Yes. <laughs> yeah, speaking speaking of, of shit, Transformers <laughs> Five. Yes. Okay. Um, I, I will, I'll start off with this. In right. my opinion, Transformers 1 was good. The original oh, yeah, Transformers yeah, like movie, it. the way they did the transformations using every that, different piece of the truck in its awesome. own individual way to make the robot was actually pretty spectacular. Yeah, but then it went down so quick over the next two movies. Oh, it's tra- Transformers 2, I can... I, I Genuinely, I can forgive Transformers 2, given yeah. the circumstances. There was a wider strike... To- they had to get the script out quickly, so I can oh, yeah. semi forgive Transformers two for those reasons. Transformers Although... three, I actually enjoyed, relatively speaking. <laughs> Transformers four, on the other hand, me and my mate were pretty much the only two people in the cinema. This is day one. We were effectively the only ones in there, and we were doing cinema sins in real time for oh. the whole movie. Oh. <laughs> I um yeah. saw I saw Transformers on its, the new Transformers on its release, and compared to the other three, I actually didn't mind it because let's just face it, Shia LaBeouf had Charlie's Angels and that movie Holes, and that was his acting career. I'm surprised he made films after that. Yeah, well, honestly, even Eagle Eye was bad. Yep. Yeah. The, the humans in it did get old, I'll agree with that, but the, my biggest issue with Transformers 4 was it was two movies in one. Yeah. They yeah. could have easily long. cut it in half, done either just the Hunter from Space storyline, I've forgotten what his name is, because honestly my brain has deleted most of that movie from my brain just to save it from imploding, yeah. and done the Galvatron to- story separate, sort of have it set up at the end. If they did, um, say... Up until the point where Optimus Prime is captured and taken away on the ship and they rescue him. And then have the credits, then at the end of the credits they show the building where Galvatron is and have that as a setup for Transformers 5. And then Transformers 5 is sort of Galvatron's story. Um, explain the, you explain the tie-in to the previous guy. You sort of offhandedly mention the, the corporation in, that, in 4. And then in 5 you explore the corporation. Yeah. So, no four-hour fucking Transformer movie, two-hour-and-a-half movies. It would be tolerable. <laughs> yes. Was it four hours? It was... Three and a half. It was ridiculous. It, it was, was as long as the Lord of the Rings movie. We'll leave it at that. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, I can admit the and length... half is interesting. Look, I can <laughs> say that... I can say this. They did... St- they really did stretch my patience with the length of that movie. I reckon they could have done that, yeah, of course, in like two hour and a half flicks, like 90 minute movies, like their old ones did. I guess they, yeah, they were pushing that time boundary a little, but I still enjoyed Mark Wahlberg's character more than I did um, Sam with Wiki. Yeah. yeah. It was good yeah, to get a new, new set Wahlberg of human faces. Improved. Now, uh, I would have liked to have seen Wahlberg come in for number three, maybe two or three. Yeah. Bring him yeah, earlier. Like, like, make, like, make him like a small background character, and like, yeah, yeah, bring him in and build him up. Yeah, yeah. Well, the thing that I liked the least about number four and is the breaking down Transformers. 
Well, a lot of the visual Optimus effects weren't even done. <laughs> Optimus riding, um... The that was, that was... That was actually amazing. pretty cool. That well, was I know that scene. was a throwback to the, the original series. Yeah, I it know. was. No, it was like a, it. no, it was a... No, it was a... No, throwback to Energon. Yeah. No, it was, still, it was still a throwback to the original series as well. Yeah. Anyway, but yeah, did you notice that a lot of the stuff in that movie, visual effect-wise, weren't complete? There was lots of random patchy green screens all over the place, almost through the entire movie. Really? Uh, I'm going yes. to be uh, I'm going to be perfectly honest. I still haven't seen number four, and I still don't plan to see number four. <laughs> I then like the your tra- vote is then your vote and opinion on this has been thrown in the toilet. Yeah, exactly. Just, Goodbye. Just download it. Just download um, it. Oh yeah, just do it. No. For, for, for not sitting through and torturing yourself by watching Transformers 4, you're fired. <laughs> hey! Go to the Ad video store and watch it. <laughs> Yay. Uh, yeah. I'd, ra- I'd rather watch 24 Hours of Bold and Beautiful. How fun no. was that? Oh. No, right. I'm sorry. Not even I can do that. Okay, I'm going to get the ball rolling again. Um, yeah, back to Transformers. Mo- Transformers 5. The next one coming after Transformers 4. Uh, I know Stuart's got a bit of news on this. I have a lot of news on this, actually. You do? Okay, uh, yeah. well, I'll let you do uh, the Transformers news real quick, and then we'll move on to where we think it should go, compared um, to where the hell they're trying to drag it kicking and screaming like they did uh, every other movie. So, What is it? Oh, Search for Optimus Prime? <laughs> well, actually, the, my news explains everything. Literally, my news is spoilers. Ooh, I like okay. spoilers. Me, spoiler alert. Me, spoiler Me. alert. If you listen beyond this point, it's your own damn point. <laughs> Alright, spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. in the chat. <laughs> Alright, spoiler alert. Michael Bay is not directing it. Yay. Hallelujah. Yes. He's producing it, but not directing it. That's in his, okay. In his place is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles director, Jonathan Liebsman. Oh no. Oh no. No. Oh, yes. No. 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 Lock and load, boys. It's time to yep. get the prepare, for, prepare the ammo. Oh no. What the Ow. hell was that? <laughs> Nick. Alright. So. I think I died a little inside just then. <laughs> oh, oh, you're going to die. <laughs> you, you're going to die. You're going to die a lot more. What was so, that screech for? Like, what was the purpose behind I, that screech? It was I have my brain that dying. Be... Oh, I thought, that was, I thought that was nails on the chalkboard. No, that was that was me actually making that noise, and it was my right, brain so, dying. Location of the movie. <laughs> location of oh. the movie. Oh. Ah, ha, ha, thank you. Amy, Amy. 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 What? You're Turn making a lot of noise. noise. Sorry. I'm just I... talking chat, my ears. Amy, Amy, that was really, really loud. I'm sorry, but it was. What the hell caused that, beautiful? I don't know. I think she dropped out, and when she came back in, her laptop just went, ah, lots of noise. Sounded like a jackhammer. Yeah, anyway, not the point. Right. Stuart, keep going. Location of the movie will not, well, at the moment, uh, is not on Earth. We are going back to Cybertron, boys. Yes. Did yes. that get destroyed in number three, I think it I- was? No, I don't know, but it's officially no. headed to Cybertron. Dude, realize that uh, Transformers is the only series as, as, that is as known for messing with the timelines and plot lines as Doctor Who, right? That's a fair point. I thought it was Dragon Ball Z as well. That's also a fair point. <laughs> we do not mention GT ever. Alright, so we have some new faces for both sides of Transformers 5. For the Autobots, we have Override Red Alert and Ultra Magnus. We yeah, finally yeah. have an Ultra Magnus. Thank oh, you. Oh, Finally. I no. remember. I sorry. Can I just say something? Because we're going back to Cybertron. They're finally doing it. I remember, as a kid, I was a little young to w- fully watch Transformers on on model in full. I watched Energon and I fell in love with the three D animation they did for Cybertron. And now, hopefully, they're going to bring that back in this new movie. Please yeah. tell me you've watched Gen One. Because yeah, oh, going, I have. Going I have. from oh, Cybertron gonna, gonna to be... Gen One is just like culture shock yeah. bad. No, I watched it, I watched um, Armada, and John Gen One, and then Cybertron. Wow, am I the only one who actually remembers uh, R.I.D.? Oh god. Do you guys remember Hotshot? <laughs> <laughs> I never liked Hotshot. Hey, I remember Blur. Oh yeah, Blur. Hurra, 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 hurra. <laughs> <laughs> and the time, the time that Starscream was an Autobot. <laughs> <laughs> that was stupid. 
<laughs> Star Scream was a good Autobot for True. a Decepticon. <laughs> Is it sad my favorite character in the first gen one was actually Cody, the human child? <laughs> well, the, speaking of that, we are, uh, because of the vi- the main villains of Transform 5s, is the classic Quintessons. Yes, the Quintessons. Yes, yes. the Quintessons. As well as joining the Decepticons will be, will be Scourge, Blitzwing, and Cyclonus. Those who don't remember who oh, the, Quint- finally. the Quintesson things like are, us. they're the guys that had all those different faces Ages. and the tentacle things and the Sharkbot Transformers from the movie. Yep. And they were sort of the, sort of, but sort of not the creators of Transformers, in a yep. weird kind of way. The best thing about having Scorch, Cyclones, and Ultra Magnus coming in is that we're slowly getting towards Unicron. Which yes. is also a bad thing, because if Michael Bay touches Unicron, I'm not... Uh... Yeah. Yeah, well, if so Michael the, Bay the, the, touches Unic... Uni- oh, it could get worse. Oh. Yeah, I know. Jar Jar could take over. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Unicron becomes the Death Star. That would be hilarious. Push- no, 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 no. Unicron fights the Death Star. And the Death Star <laughs> is a Transformer. <laughs> and they transform and they punch each other to death. And almost Power Rangers slash Voltron style. And the way they win is the Death Star launches lots of little TIE Fighter Transformers that fight the Decepticons and the Autobot Transformers, and eventually Disney implodes. <laughs> That's a weird Wait, Simon, one. Well, Sam, when you said Death Star was Transformer, all I could think of was Spaceballs. is like, Death Star has turned into Mega Maid. Yeah. Actually, <laughs> there is actually a Death Star Transformer. Yes. And right. I can't remember who it turns into. I don't really... I think it's Darth Vader. Or right, the so, Emperor or something. Oh, Maybe. yeah, wait. The Death Star turned into Darth Vader and the Star Destroyer turned into Darth... No, Death Star into the Emperor, Star Destroyer into Darth Vader. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Moving on to human. Like, physical human people, not voices. Like, people actually in it. Mark Wahlberg is returning. Okay, good. That's good. As well boy. as the addition of Bruce Wells and Dwayne The Rock Johnson. What? Yes? But we, what? Yes, we don't know if they're doing voices or if they're physically in it, last I, I don't heard. Care. Or is it... It's going to be good. Yes. I just somehow see Bruce Willis as the voice of Ultra Magnus. <laughs> oh. Yes. I could see The Rock as the voice of um, one of the Quintessons. Oh, yeah. Well, see here, it, well, there's also there's a bit of a tease with this because Dwayne Johnson and Bruce Willis are in G.I. Joe. And if rem- if people they remember, do yes, a yes. crossover. Yes, yes. yes. Transformers crossover. I actually had that issue. They released a free comic book day last year. If they do a Transformers G.I. Joe crossover, I will personally hop on a plane, fly over there, and remove his body parts slowly <laughs> oh, and oh. painfully. Oh, no, no. I want a crossover to happen. I want a crossover to happen. Oh, hang- no, no. There is. A- I want it to a- happen well, just to see Dave's face. Well, there has been a hint of a possibility of a crossover of Transformers and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. No. No. Oh, no. That wouldn't no, no, really no. work. Squishy no. Turtles. Look, the thing that threw me off seeing that movie was the fact that Johnny Knoxville was going to play Leonardo. <laughs> the thing that threw me off watching that movie was watching the old tr- Ninja Turtle movies and knowing how bad they were. Hey, at least seeing it turtles bad. with nostrils and going, yep. I'm out. Hey, at least yeah. it wasn't as bad as um, the yeah, 2007. <laughs> hey, at least it wasn't as bad as the original idea for when Michael Bay was going to make them aliens. <laughs> the the um, History Channel guy. Aliens. Back, back on the note of... Um, crap, I forgot what the hell it's called. Transformers. Transformers, giant space thing. Unicron, I'm with it. It just yeah. took a minute for my brain to cog the parts. In the original Gen 1... Megatron uh, turned into Galvatron as a result of Unicron. Yes. But in the movies, Galvatron. Galvatron was made on Earth by the humans. So how do we fix this problem? So how the how do they go about doing that? How are um, they going to um, maybe link mer- it in? Maybe, maybe merge Megatron and Galvatron together? Well, they already yeah. are. Megatron's well, dead, and Galvatron sure. is Megatron's mind yeah. inside a next-gen yeah. human-made Transformer. Okay, the, all right. No, wait. Inside There's an Optimus body. Way to, wait. It's inside a prime I have an idea. body. I have an idea. There's a good way they can cross the soap off. Yeah. Hold on. Waiting. Um, 
Um, sorry, my brain just. Sorry, we're on hold. My brain had my brain had a quick blank. I'm sorry. You're, you're catching my you know, brain blank. My, my brain blankness. Right. You know, wow. you know how okay. um, you know how they had a how the Decepticons had a human ally in the third one, I believe it was. Uh, I mean, Kelsey Grammer. The the fourth one you're talking about? No, 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 no. The third one with the oh, um, the boss, the evil boss guy. That, yeah. Um, that um, Sam. Yeah. Blonde girlfriend yeah. was working. Oh yeah, uh, yeah that guy. Yeah, I'm with yeah. You. Use something like that and say that the Decepticons gave them the technology to build Galvatron, and then since Megatron got killed, they can merge whatever's left, but like the spark Didn't he inside. die? I thought that guy was dead or arrested No, or he didn't say. I believe he ran away, even though he Sam was about to throw a giant brick at him at the collapse of the tower. He's not dead, from what I remember. Oh, okay. I like would rewatch it, but that would require me to watch Transformers Three. Yeah. Well, I own almost I own a Blu-ray of almost every movie I have watched in the past ten years. Even if I didn't like it that much, I still bought the Blu-ray to support them. Guess what movies I don't have the Blu-ray for? Transformers. Yeah. Transformers Twenty Twelve Skyline Battleship. Why do you not have Battleship? That was Battleship's a joke. Because. <laughs> Battleship. Exactly. Battleship is a joke. Did you seriously try to take Battleship seriously? No. All I'm going to say is, it's a ship that can fly across space and that gets confused by water and can't fly anymore. And has to skip. And then they go. Never seen it. And then they start going. These Don't. dear buoy G12 fire. We missed him. And it's yeah, like, oh they god, made, they're playing the they board game. The corniest <laughs> reference possible. It's like, oh, it hey, burns. They had to tie the board game in somehow. It burns. Never seen it. Hey, it's bad. <laughs> it's bad. That. No, you don't. Pardon? No, you don't. What do you mean? Off? You won't let me fix it. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so Amy's just volunteered <laughs> oh. to watch Battleship and Anime Night. We all heard it. No, it's going to happen. Oh. I'm not watching you can, it. You can you can do it at Neon Pop. You can do it the night that Neon Pop is on. So I won't be there. So Stuart has just been volunteered to tie to a chair <laughs> with his eyes held open and watch it twice, <laughs> and then no, watch Transformers no, no. Four straight <laughs> afterwards. Then 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 make him watch Skyline. <laughs> at least look at it this way, Dave. At least, at least he doesn't have to watch the complete original series of Neon Genesis Evangelion after a Star Wars marathon. Oh, actually, I've done that. <laughs> While making use of horn wisely jokes. <laughs> haven't done that, but I've definitely done that the first part. I'm just leaving that alone. Right. If I ever come up for Brisbane Nova, I am definitely having a movie night with you guys. <laughs> Alright, briefly, okay. ba- uh, back to Transformers. Just really, really quickly, action- just one last note on Skyline. There is only one scene in Skyline worth watching. Out of the, the whole credits? movie, there's only one. No, it's not the credits. It's when the drones attack. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That is probably... If I was going to do Independence Day 2, which is effectively, this is like, Skyline is a cheap knockoff of Independence Day, I would have that sort of scene in there somewhere. The drones fly in, you see them fighting, and because drones are unmanned, they can do all sorts of bullshit that real fighters can't actually do. And it was a really cool scene. Other than that, that movie isn't worth watching. The rest of it is just pure crap. So, anyway, I had... Set my piece. Back to Transformers. Go. Yes. We actually have a release date for Transformers. Uh, Note to self. TARDIS back in time and change release date to now. Wait, we have a release date already? June 24th, 2016. I'm sorry, I can't watch it. I'm busy that day. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm sure I can find anything else that's better. (laughs) Two weeks. Two weeks after my birthday, I have to bet. Oh no, it could be good if the whole thing with Willis and The Rock happening. Yeah. So, as long as they finish the visual effects. Yeah. Seriously, guys. Little green screens instead of actually. Okay, key example. In four, I think it was. Yeah, it's number four, right near the start. 
They're hunting down an Autobot who's inside a smokestack of a ship. It's they're Ratchet. Ratchet. They're hunting Ratchet. Yeah. In the ba- in they they show the back of this four wheel drive, right? That um, is meant to have all these different display screens on it. That's pointing out all the different things that's happening. About a third of them are green screen. Really? Just little green squares. Yeah. Also, I've heard. It's like, but, it, it, but uh, how does that make it into the final movie? How if you're going to do something like that and have it glitched like that, at least make it look like a blue screen. Exactly. Yeah. It's like, As in blue screen of death. Uh, look, I can just say one thing about Transformers 3. It one thing, the one thing that makes me hate the movie more than all the other, like, the, makes it the least favorite Transformers movie of the four of them. They killed Ironhide. Yeah. That was three. They, they said three. They killed my favorite Transformer of all time. There was a yeah. lot of references in I three to the original series, mine, though. Mine, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mine, the farm. Although I did like the fact that Lenin Nimoy busted out a uh, Star Trek monologue as, um... Yeah. As, um, Sentinel. That was, that was awesome. Yeah. yeah. I actually don't have a favorite Transformer. Well... Based on my shelf in my room, it would be Optimus. <laughs> but I've also got Devastator. Oh. And Starscream and Jetfire. Most of which are Gen 1. I've also got Cyclonus and a couple of others. I, um, I've got like five different versions of Optimus in there, so it has to be Optimus. <laughs> I, um, I was reading this thing up the other day on Crack Deals about the whole scene in the desert of Transformers 1 where Scorbinox unleashes hell on that nest team. Yeah, I, I read that. I, the screens were real because they put they put explosives underneath the sand. And they just had to run for their lives. Yeah. So what happened was they put um, blasting cap, which, and they set it up so that it was on a timer. So the guys would start running, and this thing would go off, and it'd be about ten fifteen meters behind them when it was going off as they were running. Long story short, Michael Bay's a dick. He <laughs> set it off early. So this stuff is literally explosive, literally live, literally under their feet, going off about half a meter behind them as they're running. I just love your delivery of it. It makes that story so much better. <laughs> I'm good like that. <laughs> but it's just like, it's like, okay, if we run, there'll be shit exploding by us. It'll be fine. But it moves his foot. It grows off like a landmine just behind it. It's like, that's, that's shit still my just got thing. real, there is brown in Fucking my pants, I you, am running. You, actually, you can actually hear, just before the explosions go off, the second that the head of Scorpinox, no sorry, the second the first explosive goes off, you can hear Tyrese um, Gibson yell, oh shit, at the top of his lungs. Yeah. Yeah. So, it's, uh, <laughs> I've read that, yeah, Cracked is good for stuff like that. Oh, that, <laughs> that's brilliant. Yeah. Uh, um, All right. Are we finished the Transformers topic? Almost. See, uh, well, just cause let's jump on to Transformers Two really quick. Okay. There's a lot of things wrong with Transformers Two. Which one was Transformers Two: Revenge of the Fallen? Yeah. Yeah. Um, like for instance, the Fallen is a Prime. Optimus is a Prime. The Fallen says only a Prime can kill a Prime. Now you guys go and kill that Prime. It's like, but you did you? Yeah. But you, Wait, what? And then it takes like six of the or what? What the hell is that? Three or four of them are, uh, versus just Optimus to take him down. And it's yeah. like, okay, so if these guys just manage to take down a prime on their own, why don't they take down the fallen? Does that make sense? Yeah. Because <laughs> Me- Megatron isn't the sort of guy that constantly craves more power at all. He doesn't like being subservient. I did like the twins, though. I thought they were funny. Yeah. yeah. I just I just love the giant dick joke they made with the Destructo bots with the huge wrecking balls. The, 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 the devastated testicles was just... <laughs> it's like, what the hell, guys? It's like, it's like, yes, you're Michael Bay. You can't resist the dick joke. We get it. You're... He's a living example of the dick joke. <laughs> There's, there is only two people I know of that are obsessed with dicks. There's... George R. R. Martin, who's slightly obsessed with dicks. We know, we know, we know. And there's Michael Bay, who seems to worship the fucking things. 
<laughs> what, what other dick jokes has he made? It's it's either oh. it's either a dick joke, half hanging out tits, racist slurs, or just generic gibberish. You do one of those four things. Oh yeah, and, and consistent explosions normally because explosions. <laughs> oh, it's like it's like why did that explode? I don't know. Just explode it. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, but when I think George R. R. Martin Wieners together, I just think of that South Park yeah. episode. I know. Wiener, yeah. wiener, wiener, wiener. Uh, um, oh. there was a, actually this. Here's a call out for you, and this will only be picked up by people who have watched Stargate. In the episode, um, did you know an episode actually had someone that was they pretended was Michael Bay in it? The wormhole. Wait, wait, ex- wait! What? Wormhole extreme. Wormhole oh, extreme. Wormhole. The whole episode where they're on, quote, on set for Wormhole Extreme, one of the producers is running around seeing explosions and shouting bigger. And every time <laughs> they do a bigger explosion, it sort of, they go away for a little bit, then they're somewhere else on the set, and here's this same guy in the background talking to the pyromaniac guy, and they're setting off another explosion. And you just hear him shout, BIGGER! <laughs> and my first thought upon watching that was, oh, look, it's Michael Bay. <laughs> no, wait, wait! They actually made a Michael Bay reference in SpongeBob. Um, when they were filming oh. the um, the um, Mermaid Barnacle Boy, Mermaid Man Barnacle Boy was like, "Did somebody say boo?" <laughs> and then Sandy just sets off all the explosives. Uh, yeah, Amy I feel sorry Michael for Bay. anyone who's watched SpongeBob SquarePants. I hereby apologize for the mentioning of that show. Good God, Dave. Thank you. I did not need the full body shutter right then. <laughs> Is that I used to watch it when I was younger? Yeah. The episode quality was good, and then over the past three or four years, it's just started to drop drastically. Yeah. And... Are you ready, kids? No. Uh, I... No. <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> This is a sci-fi podcast, damn it. No, oh, st- I don't even know anymore. <laughs> All right, okay, I'm just going to go break out the uh, heavy, like getting, heavy weaponry. Like getting shuffled again? Yes. Uh, and we're making sure it's diamond this time. Anyway, um, moving right along. It's news. about time it's we did the news. Do, 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 do. News. Is that news left? It is time yes. to hear the news. There's actually quite a bit of news, actually. I know. Oh, That's why you have ten minutes this time. Okay, Emperor Palpatine. <laughs> yes. Excellent. <laughs> Very right. good. Very so, good. This is actually an interesting one. J.J. Abrams and Kathleen Kennedy to kick off Star Wars Celebration. For a split second, I thought you said they were going to clone each other. That would be ah! terrifying. <laughs> uh, Alright, so for, for those who don't know, uh, Kathleen Kennedy is the president of Lucasfilms. You mean it is, Nick? So. They're going to kick off the, the Star Wars celebration in, in um, Star Wars Celebration Anaheim in April. A lot of speculation has come out saying that either A, we'll get a full-blown trailer, B, we'll get something about the standalone film, or C, there'll be something about Rebels. Or all three. Unlimited power. Oh yeah, speaking of this whole Star Wars thing, did you hear um, who could be cast as Boba Fett for the standalone? Maybe. Uh, maybe. Michael Fassbender. Oh yes, I saw that one. It's all speculation at the moment. Yes. yes. Uh, next, next is... Where is it? Here. Hurry up. Uh, Jurassic World, boy. Jurassic World's toy. Upside debuts. down. Upside down. Are you trying to be black. Dishonorable <laughs> mention. <laughs> did you just do a Mr. Squiggle reference? <laughs> yes, yes, you did. How did you miss that? <laughs> right. Sorry, so, as you were saying about Jurassic World. Yes, yes. Jurassic World. <laughs> Jurassic World's toys debut, and they show what the Indominus Rex actually looks like. Ooh. The I Rex. That is going to be so good. <laughs> yes. So um, we did to get we did get a bit of a look at it in the recent trailer, but yeah. But no, no, this is a full blown body look. I am going to post this in chat for in um the chat for everyone to look at. So this has all the toys that were announced, including the Indominus Rex. So we actually get a look at a big, bad, and ugly. And also, did you hear they're gonna 
the that's the Jurassic World. It's going to be the next Lego video game. Yes. 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 That'd be cool. And they're also making Lego kits for it as well. Yeah. <laughs> so. Well, of course. Well, let's add some more. Yes. Moving along. Is wow. District 9 director Neil Blomkamp working on an Alien Prometheus crossover movie? Oh, I heard about this. I heard about this. He had some uh, concept sketches that yes. Fox originally turned down. And I want I want this to happen because Prometheus for me was such a letdown. <laughs> Pr- Prometheus wasn't that no, who am I hey, kidding? You're right, you're right. It wasn't as bad as Alien Insurrection. What I want to see in the next um, Prometheus movie is a predator fighting an engineer. No. Yes. Why? No. Because that would be spectacular. No. No. That movie was a money grab and you know it. That whole series was a money grab and you know it. That whole series was originally based off a comic book series. Still. Yes. And it was... The first one was alright, the rest of them were pretty crap. But seriously, I would love to see just a fight between an engineer and a predator. Simply because the predator in no is outclassed in every single way in that combat. And that's when predators shine. Anyway, yeah, sorry. News. Keep, news, news, keeping, news, news. Yeah, keeping on the alien theme, a fish that looks exactly like the creature from Alien. Yeah. <laughs> Have you seen the comments on that on, yes. say, Sci-Fi? Can, like, yeah, can someone link me this, like, now? Yeah, yeah, I'll put it in chat as well. Yeah, yeah. Half of the people oh, are wait, like, I want this. The other half of the people are like, kill it with fire! Fire! <laughs> yes, uh, the scientific term, I'm probably going to get this wrong, is the Idiocanthus Atlanticus. That's actually... That, you did a good hey, job of that. I'll yeah, I'm pretty dead on. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so Stuart, you were temporarily unfired. You're right. on probation. <laughs> so, the Avengers Battle of New York recut to include Spidey. You're fired. <laughs> <laughs> knew that was going to happen. <laughs> actually, you that was a I actually talked about that last week. Um, yeah. I mentioned it. We- I couldn't for the life of me find it, and then it... Then Stuart found it and posted the news up, and I was like, <laughs> "Can someone link me that as well?" It's this your... is on the all Facebook the... page. It, it hasn't been popping up on my feed in weeks for some reason. All this news is up on the Save Sci-Fi Facebook page. In order to find it, if you can't find it, just go to facebook.com/slash/save-sci-fi. I think I'm pretty sure it's just slash s a v e s c i f i, um, and it should come up. If not, just do a search at the top in the little bar thing for Save Sci-Fi. Look for the one that's got a black logo with a little crescenty sunsetty sunrisey thing. Yeah, I know, I know. I know Sorry, but, this, but my Facebook's been screwing me up. This is just for the listeners. And don't worry, Facebook's been screwing everybody over, including us. Our ultimate um, cruise ship vote. When we did the first one, which was the good hero ship crew, I was getting about three hundred or so votes per thing. I am now lucky to have forty. The views have gone for those has gone from several thousand to a couple of hundred at most. Oh god! And I am livid at Facebook because every time I post something, it goes, oh, "This has reached so many people." If you wanted to reach more people, you just click boost and it'll boost it, and then you can see other. It's like to me, they are holding everybody's content hostage and blackmailing money out of us because premium. they're money grubbing fuckheads. Premium, dude. It's premium. So, That's what it's turning to. Yeah. So. That it's kind of like how they're trying to privatize um, the internet, sorry, make the internet a utility in the states where um, websites have to pay for faster actually, connection to their sites. Actually, no, that's that, that's actually total misinformation. In the states, what's happening is um, right now there's a group of lobbyists from the telecommunication market who are trying to get rid of net neutrality. If you get rid of net neutrality, then pages will have to pay per for access. If they make it a utility, that can't happen. So these large telecommunication companies are making all these ads saying the exact opposite of what is true and telling everybody that if it's made a utility, then they're going to throttle all these different things. But in reality, the regulation will be in place to prevent them from ever doing it. So, sorry, I just wanted to be 110% clear on that to anyone from the States who happens to listen to this. 
Making the internet a utility is the best thing that can happen. It guarantees net neutrality, and net neutrality is what you guys need so that you don't have people like fucking Comcast in a monopoly going, oh, that's a nice fa- that's not a nice page you've got there. It'd be a shame if someone throttled its access speeds so that all of a sudden only people who have lots and lots of money can afford to have a full speed page, whereas everyone who doesn't pay them all of a sudden has nothing. And combat us the whole time because it owns effectively all of them. Over there it's just like, hoo, 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 hoo. I'm trying to think what the other one was. It's Comcast and something else. I forgot what the other one was. Um, should we get back to the yes, news? Yes, back to the news. Sorry, rant aside, rant is down. Back to the news. Stuart, go, fast. Yep. Uh, physicists at the Australian National University have created a tractor beam on water. <laughs> yes. Everything's <laughs> falling into place. Everything's falling into place. So there is actually power. Oh, wow. This one I actually prefers. Oh, uh, power. <laughs> I'm actually going to do this one because I want to say, Unlimited power. Hey, brother. You've got to do it right. It's unlimited power. Yes. Okay, I, I can't put flame on my throat, okay? Anyhow? Yes, yeah, moving right along. We need to keep going moving with right the news. Along. Next. Uh, well, wait, actually, wait. One, th- one thing with the whole um, tractor beam issue uh, thing. Uh, uh, Mel- uh, Australian astronomers have actually found an alien signal after I think fifteen years. That's just they've just received it like a week ago. Um, what you're referencing is a signal that Australia that Australian group has found and triangulated to be a fair way away. It is not confirmed to be alien. The origin is unknown. Assuming it is alien yeah. is a jump to a conclusion, and we don't want to do sorry. that. Sorry. So, sorry. Science-y, sorry. Science-minded guy that constantly debunks crap. Not calling what you said crap. Just Yeah, yeah, it. sorry. It was the whole thing that the tractor beam got me excited again. Yeah. Okay, anyway, Stuart, go. Go, 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 go. As fast as yeah, you can. NASA, NASA plans to send the submarine to Titan. Awesome. Next. That's it. <laughs> is that, <laughs> that all the news? all of them. Oh. Yeah. Wait, send a submarine to Titan. Okay, cool. Yeah. So effectively, what the, the plan is almost what they did on Mars. Mars. They're going to bring this thing in, dump it down on one of the methane lakes or something ridiculous up there. Yeah, it's like the seas of, of liquid methane. Yeah, gonna and it. put this submarine in it and just swim around because why the fuck not? So the water tastes like shit. No, the, it's technically not water. Water does exist on Titan, but it is in ice. So is carbon dioxide. The hydrological system there is a mythological system. I was making a pun, okay? So. No puns allowed. Yes. Too bad. This is a pun free zone. No. You're not being punny. Will I have to be punished? Maybe. You're fired. <laughs> You're both fired. <laughs> Everybody hey. except for Amy is fired. Like, what's Scarecrow doing? I don't know, but. He made a very, 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 very bad pun joke. I don't care. He's fired. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a couple of weeks. <laughs> I want to talk about Flash, but there's no time. There is no. There is literally no time. It's like a minute left. Well, now we can say that most of us have been fired. This is the, being the last episode of the podcast to ever air. Thank you for having us. <laughs> We'll see you next week. <laughs> I w- yeah, we'll, me and Amy will see you guys next week. You can join us in the chat. How do you feel? Yeah, hey, get a week off. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway, um, in all hilariousness aside, we are actually in the last minute of the show. So now is your chance for final remarks. Have a good week, guys. Are you having a great time? Okay, so anyway. Good, oh, wait, sorry, I was waiting for Amy, but good night and death to Shia LaBeouf. Everyone stay safe and talk to you next week. Be nice to poor Shia. He doesn't know what he's doing is wrong. He's too innocent. <laughs> leave, leave Shia alone. Yeah, exactly. Um, anyway, no. uh, join us on the Facebook page this week as we go down to the ultimate sci-fi movie. Um... We are on the final four days worth of voting on that. So and we will be announcing thing... the winner 
this time next week on the podcast, but at the start of the podcast, not the end, so we can talk about it. So anyway, we will catch you all later. So long, and thanks for all the fish. Fish! Don't forget your towel. Fish! Yes. Unlimited power. And Monty. Monty, we miss you. Monty, we miss you. Monty, we miss you. Monty, we miss you. Monty, 